All right, folks, what do you never do in my line of business or in any business? Talk about politics. But heck, I already break half the rules because my business is to talk about money and, you know, I don't really get into religion. And so let's have some fun with politics as these are only the things you're never supposed to discuss with people. Anyways, so what's going on? Midterm election is today. Midterm election is today. What has that meant for the economy, generally speaking? Well, here's what we know. First starters, year two in a presidential cycle is always the worst by far, averaging about 7.2% since 1900s in the market, while year three has been historically always the best, 16.6% historically is what we've been seeing, uh, again, in the Dow Jones. So that's an exciting stat. Also, since 1950, year three in a presidential uh cycle has always been up a positive year in the markets, regardless of who's in power, regardless of what policy, regardless of what you want to believe, the markets are up year three. Will this buck the trend? Who knows? But historically speaking, no. <clears throat> Next, let's talk about what's likely to happen. So What's likely to happen is one or two things. We know the president will remain Democratic. With a low rating, historically, seats are switched from the power, the party in power during a midterm anyways, especially in the House. So we anticipate seeing a turn in the House at very least and maybe complete turn in Congress completely, which a Democratic president and a Republican House has actually been the best performing market, about 13.6%, and a Democratic president and a Congress that is fully Republican has been the third best performing market uh, condition or blend, however you want to look at it, about 13% annualized. So regardless of what's going to happen, which certainly sounds like there'll be some change in power here or control, I, it, we anticipate that this generally speaks well for the markets. Again, I recognize there's other issues that are more important to some people, but I can speak to what keeps me out of a little bit of trouble, which is discussing how it, markets are affected here. Okay, next. I know we think and we believe and we really want to 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 say that our party is driving economic growth. As a matter of fact, they have very little to do with it. Economic spending, uh, business investment, economic conditions, policies, government spending, annualized percentage change in US GDP, all have remained relatively similar, regardless of power, regardless of party, since basically as long as any of us have been alive. So what has actually had a bigger impact is the good old Federal Reserve, which is in the news, as we know, every day and you know, even as much as this past week. So that has a bigger impact historically than the market, than uh, in, on the markets than any political blend or divide. And so that's really where we're keeping our focus and keeping our eye much more than who is in power is what's going to happen with the Fed and how they're looking at things. So th that's just some information that I thought you would appreciate. I have more below if you want to read some more tidbits and see some more explanations here. But honestly and truly, get out and vote. Do your do your duty and uh, and hopefully let's, let's all hope and pray for a more more unified and less divided America. Anyways, small small uh, potatoes here for, for us and uh, small aspirations, I should say. But that's what I got. I'm Andrew Rosen, President Diversified. Stay wealthy, stay healthy, and stay happy.